A New York Jets draft wish list. 10 players who would be great fits to be repping green and white next season. Keep in mind, these are not the 10 overall best players in the draft. However, players that could be available where the Jets are selecting across days one, two, and three of the draft that would be good fits, fill positions of need, and be solid value for the Jets. Let's get it going. Number 10, that's going to be Brian Robinson, running back, Alabama. He's 6'1", he's 225, and he had absurd production at Bama, 1,300 yards, 14 touchdowns, 5 yards per carry. Obviously, there's always some inflation with the numbers at Alabama, given the fact that he's running behind some future pros on that offensive line, but he is a bigger back, 225. We need one of those for short yardage for red zone to complement Michael Carter's scat back abilities. And he would be our running back number two on day one. That's good value. And he could be had on day three of the draft. Number nine, Devin Lloyd, linebacker, Utah. A ridiculous athlete, super long, 6'3", 235, runs sideline to sideline, can cover a tackling machine and would be a huge upgrade next to CJ Mosley in our 4'3 base. Only reason he isn't higher is that I think it's unlikely he's selected by the Jets unless they trade. He's not going to be the pick at 10, and he's definitely going to be gone by pick 35. But if the Jets do trade back into the teens or to 20, or if they trade back into the 20s, then I think Devin Lloyd could be a selection for the Jets if they trade down or up within the first round. Number eight, Jeremy Ruckert, tight end, Ohio State. 6'5", 250. He's a local kid from Lindenhurst, New York. He's well-rounded. He doesn't do anything great, but he's pretty solid at everything. He's got steady hands. He's big enough to be an inline blocker, and he projects as a solid number two tight end at the next level. We can still use some depth and some youth at the position after bringing in Uzama and Conklin on shorter term deals. Number six and seven, I clumped together because they both accomplished the same thing, and that is depth on the offensive line. Rashid Walker tackled Penn State, and Donovan West center from Arizona. I don't think it's wise for the Jets to go into next season with Dan Feeney and Connor McDermott being our primary backup offensive linemen. We need some depth and some youth at the position. Rashid Walker, 6'5", 315. Projects as a backup swing tackle at the next level. And Donovan West, 6'3", 300 pounds. We don't know how much longer Connor McGovern is going to be a Jet. He's a free agent after next season. We can develop both of these players, see if they could eventually compete for starting jobs, and at worst, just be quality backups who we have on cheap contracts. Both of these guys should be available in round four. I think it'd be a great idea for Joe Douglas to go ahead and invest both fourth round picks on offensive line depth. Next, number five, Perion Winfrey, defensive interior, Oklahoma, 6'4", 295, and has some wiggle to him. Took home Senior Bowl MVP honors in front of the Jets coaching staff. The Jets do have Quinn and Williams and Sheldon Rankins on the defensive interior, but it leaves a lot to be desired after that. John Franklin Myers can line up inside and outside. But Perion Renfrey will give us really good depth. You're always rotating guys in on that front four. And if we move on from Rankins next year or eventually trade Quinn and Williams because an extension becomes too pricey, Winfrey can step in as a starter, no problem, in a year or two. Number four, and that could be the pick at number four, and that is Kayvon Thibodeau, edge from Oregon, 6'3", 255. I know what you're thinking. He's only number four. He's obviously a really great player, but the only way we'd be able to pick him is if we picked him at four. So we're considering value for the pick here. And Kayvon Thibodeau is a really, really dynamic pass rusher, a little bit of inconsistency, and he's become kind of a polarizing draft prospect. There's some people questioning if he'd be a good personality fit, a good locker room fit. I'm not gonna defame his character. I haven't seen anything besides that he likes his own brand a little bit. I would be very happy if he fell to the Jets at four and they were able to select him. Kayvon Thibodeau, he's number four on the wish list, might be number four in the draft. Okay, now we have the top three again. 
I don't think these are the top three players in the draft, but man, they'd be really good value, really good culture fits, and positions of need. Number three, that is safety. Jaquan Brisker out of Penn State. Six foot, 205, a sub 440, a do-it-all safety, and I think we could get ourselves a perennial pro bowler here with pick 35, and that is just excellent value. He is a Swiss Army knife in your secondary. He can tackle, he can cover, he can come up in the box, he can play center field, he can hold his own in the slot, and would be an immediate day one starter next to Jordan Whitehead, and wow, how much of an upgrade is that compared to our safety group last season? Into the top two players on the wish list. Number two, Garrett Wilson, wide receiver, Ohio State. Six foot, 195, a burner, sub four, 40 yard dash at the combine. I think he instantly changes our life offensively. He makes us exciting. He makes us dynamic. He can stretch the field. He has yards after catch ability. He can moss people, even though he's six foot. You can hand it off to him on tosses and sweeps, like how the 49ers do with Devo Samuel, how the Jets did a little bit last year with Elijah Moore, and Braxton Berrios would add so much uh, flexibility and versatility, and what a weapon for second-year quarterback Zach Wilson. Now, the number one player on the New York Jets draft to wish list, that is Ahmad Sauce Gardner, cornerback Cincinnati. Obviously, we'd have to get him in round one, might be there at 10. He's 6'3", 195, a silky smooth ass athlete, a sticky corner, never allowed a touchdown in his career at college, allowed under 200 yards total passing against him last season. He shut down Jamison Williams in the college football playoffs. He would be a culture changer. Everything this young man says is dripping with authenticity and leadership and charisma and no culture concerns here. He'd be a great addition on and off the field to the New York Jets and be the best corner we've had since Darrell Rivas in his prime. Sauce Gardner's number one. That is my New York Jets draft wish list. If you want to see my dream mock draft to see exactly where I think some of these players would be picked, you can click that below. Subscribe if you love what I'm doing. Thank you so much for watching and let's go Jets.